Today we're going to go through the key points of a SOC response concentrating on the first five hours of a ransomware attack. With ransomware attacks becoming a big concern for companies, notably over the last 10 years, organizations are taking prevention and protection much more seriously. That's where SOC comes in. Security Operations Center, also referred to as SOC. In our case, it consists of IT professionals who prevent, monitor, analyze, and protect an organization from cyber attacks. A SOC's primary objective aims to prevent security incidents in most cases by advising an organization on best practices and staff training to avoid breaches at the first instance. Internet traffic, desktops, endpoint devices, networks, applications, and other systems are all actively examined by the SOC for signs of a security breach. Our scenario, <clears throat> our scenario is the result of a compromised personal device being brought onto this company's network. But he doesn't know that yet. Hour zero. We got a P zero. The SOC has detected the first signs of a security incident. It immediately alerts the SOC team. It is now a race against time to simultaneously contain and investigate the threat, with the priority placed on quickly achieving containment, giving the team more time to investigate. Five minutes in. Beginning the scope assessment. Containment. Scope assessment begins. Incident response runs software, providing a consolidated view of all at-risk impacted assets. This helps to determine the nature, penetration, and extent of the threat, determining compromised accounts, affected devices, associated network communication, affected applications, payload delivery medium, and many other factors. 10 minutes in, using advanced hunting, the SOC team identified that the affected files have been edited by one account, Mr. Robot. And run advanced threat hunting to identify the activity of this user. Offline backups have been verified. Meanwhile, offline backups have been verified. These will be essential in restoring data once the malware has been removed. Indicators are added to all known attacker communication channels and a process of preservation begins. Online backups have been disconnected until the attack is contained. All suspected, privileged and local accounts have been suspended. We just suspend the remote sessions. And remote sessions have been suspended. Devices that this user has accessed are isolated from the network. One endpoint is located on a remote site. Connection to this device is cut off using the isolate feature and also on the network level by shutting off the port. The account which has been compromised has sign-in disabled and active sessions in the environment removed. We now need to prevent the spread. Infected files are quarantined and indicated. Azure AD sync and OneDrive sync are disabled. Ransomware communications are blocked. One hour in. After all attacker control points have been isolated from the internet, we are ready to remove the malware from all affected devices using a full antivirus scan to detect and remove the payload. We're also applying patches for configuration changes. And patches for configuration changes are applied. Five hours in. Once the device is clean, file recovery can now be attempted. We'll have to use Exchange to recover the email. We also notice that ransomware had deleted the emails from the mailbox. These can be recovered through Exchange Online. We can also start bringing systems back online, such as Azure AD Sync and OneDrive Sync. Because of the early alert from the SOC, the ransomware was quickly Contained, preventing the malware from dealing more damage. Investigated to determine the extent of the infection and an action plan allowing for a swift recovery and restoration of corrupted, damaged, and deleted files from backups. 